everyone good afternoon and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining okay so it is that time of the month again where i share with you my completed pages and these are for the month of april 2021 um if you would like a flip through of any of the books that I show in this video, please feel free to let me know either down below in the comments um, or you can message me on Instagram or Facebook or alternatively my email address is down in the description as well. Okay, so the first few pages I would like to show you um, are by the lovely artist Kelly Horton. Um, the first two are PDFs. I'm trying really hard to get my third PDF finished today, but it's not finished yet. So you probably won't see that one now until next month. But the first one that I have is this one. Absolutely beautiful. And this is from um, Kelly's beautiful new book, The Darling Collection Portraits. Um, but I'm so honoured to be a member of Kelly's VIP team. So she sent me the PDF of this for me to colour. And this is what I have. So on this page I used alcohol markers. Um, I believe I used some Prismacolor pencils. I cannot remember if I used my Carandosh Pablos on her or not. Um, I used my Carandosh Luminance um, Buff Titanium coloured pencil. And then I have used my gold Uniball Signo Metallic and some Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic on there as well. And then I believe for the border here this sort of like purple border. I think that that was one of the Arteza, um, oh my goodness, like the iridescent gel pens that come in a set of 18, I believe. It was one of those. So that was my first PDF. And then the second page, um, again, that I was sent from Kelly to a colour is this cutie patootie. This was her Easter page. Um, and on this one, I have used, again, alcohol markers, Prismacolor pencils, white jelly roll, um, jelly roll moonlight, just for the inside of these little flowers down here. Um, Arteza retractable gel pen, a silver Pentel hybrid dual metallic, some stickles up here that I've used just sort of on the, the string of the bunting there and I used a washi tape border which I thought would fit in really nicely um, with the Easter colours on this page. So there is that one. And then the third and final one is from Kelly Horton's beautiful book, Little Darlings. And I coloured this one. <clears throat> so on this, I used alcohol markers as a base. And then again, I have used my beloved Prismacolor pencils on this one. Some... Arteza retractable gel pens, um, alcohol markers, jelly roll white, some stickles here for the water just to add a little bit of sparkle and then the sun here in the background I used my gorgeous set of Kaleero, um watercolour paints. And I use them for that. And I really, really love how this page turned out. I'm really, really pleased with that one. So that is my pages by the fabulous Kelly Horton. 
The next book I coloured in is A Million Christmas Cats. This is by John Bigwood. And I coloured this double page spread. And this was my first page in this book. So this also does go for Labella's um, hashtag April Colour Your Hoard 2021. And on this one, I used Crayola Super Tips, Crayola Twistable Crayons, a silver um, Uniball Signo Metallic, and a little bit of stickles just down here to give the illusion of like the, the top of the snow. So this was a really sort of quick and easy and fun page to do. I had a lot of fun colouring that one. Okay, I then coloured from my Disney Circle Magique Grand Classique by Hatchet Heroes. <clears throat> and I coloured this one. This was all done with Crayola Super Tips. I don't know which film he's from, but this is um, a page that I had skipped. So I went back, I coloured that one, <clears throat> and I coloured the Fairy Godmother from Cinderella. And they were both done, yeah, they were both done on the 16th of April. These guys, they were already done. So I just went back and um, <clears throat> completed those two pages there in that one and it was actually really nice to pull this book out and work in it um i haven't worked in this one for quite some time so it was really nice to show that book some love then we have the travel mosaic color by number book this is by sun life drawing and this is one of my 10 books to complete in 2021 and I coloured this one. <clears throat> um, yeah, just the one page this month. So this was done with a variety of alcohol markers, Sharpies, Crayola Super Tips, Statler 326. And I believe that was either a Chromatech or a Colour It glitter gel pen. Um, for the, I think it was like the red orange colour there. So there's that one. I like how that one turned out. <clears throat> okay, and then I worked in colour by number carpets stained glass. Again, this is by Sun Life Drawing. And this was completed with the Oleap alcohol markers. So I've completed a couple of pages in here. Okay, so it's just the two this month. But still, making good progress in that book. Okay, and then I have coloured a page from Stardust Space Lust. This is by the fabulous Carla Magana. And I coloured this one. So again, this was a mixture of alcohol markers, some Jelly Roll Metallic, looks like possibly a Uniball Signo Metallic in Silver, um, Jelly Roll Moonlight, so very very simple but a lot of fun, a lot of fun to colour and I really do like the metallic colours that I've used here on these like crystal rock things. One. And 
I have then worked in the stained glass colour by number flowers. This is by the fabulous Kira Shashniva. And I have coloured quite a few in here, I believe. <clears throat> I had done um, okay so I've coloured yeah I've done a few so there is this one and this is the same variety of markers that I use for my Sun Life drawing books so this was alcohol markers sharpies crayon with super tips and statler 326s and it is the same or, or three of these pages oh there are also um the statler dual ended fiber tip markers for some of them as well so really really lovely i do want to keep this book out and continue working in it because I just find this so relaxing and I, I always have an absolute blast working in this book from Kira. So I don't think it will take me too much longer really to um to get this one finished. So I'll have to uh, knuckle down and see if I can get this one done. Okay, the next book is Little Fairies Stained Glass Colour by Number. This is by Sun Life Drawing. And I coloured this one. So again, the variety of alcohol markers, Crayola Super Tips, Statler 326s, Statler Dual Ended fibre tip markers, um, Crayola super tips, all that good stuff. Sharpies, I, I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember what ones I've told you now, but um, you, get, you get the gist, you get the gist. For these and the Kira Shashneva books, it's the same, you know, variety of markers because they have the same colour palette. So I have those markers in a separate pencil case specifically for these books okay so we've colored two pages in there this month and i'm actually on date recording this as well it is the 30th of april so go me <laughs> okay this is a new purchase <clears throat> I purchased this from Amazon and this is the Cactus and Succulent colouring book. Colour by numbers for adults, desert plants, mosaic puzzles, black background by colour Questopia. I love their black background books and I am hoping to expand my collection. I just find the black backgrounds a lot, they're just easier and I personally find them more enjoyable than the ones with the white lines in between. Now don't get me wrong, in some books, <clears throat> and if the mood takes me, I don't mind colouring the lines, but, you know, 99% of the time, I would rather have the black lines. Um, now I did have to contact Amazon, because this one, the bonus images in the back, they do not, have numbers printed on them um but amazon would not refund or send me a replacement until i sent this one back and i figured do you know what that one does have numbers i thought do you know i don't buy the book for the um for the additional images in the back so I'll just, I'll suck it up and just, you know, take the book as is. Um, so, <clears throat> in this one, I coloured this one. Um, and again, this is for Lavella's um, Colour Along, which is hashtag April Colour Your Award 2021. And on this one, 
I used Crayola Super Tips and Ohuhu markers. And on this one, I used Crayola Super Tips, Ohuhu markers, Sharpies, and Statler Dual Ended. So I did make a note just on the opposite page what I used on them and I think these turned out really really nicely so you will see this book in my April haul video okay then I completed a whip from the um, Around the Wild Fairy Tales by Eerie um, so this is for my colour along, which is hashtag whipping the whips 2021. And it did take me a while to get these done. But it is these two pages of Cinderella. So I did use, I want to say I used, um, I think it was Black Widow pencils, some Caran d'Ache Pablo, maybe some Prisma colours, I cannot remember, um, some fine liners, some Uniball Signo gold metallic. The flowers and leaves around the edges of each page are done in Crayola Super Tips I believe. Um, <clears throat> I used a Jelly Roll Metallic around the frame on this side. And then on this one, um, I used Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. Um, a lot of white Jelly Roll here on her. The background, I believe, was Neo Colour 2s, I think. Um... So yeah, I'm really, really happy with um, with how this double page spread turned out. I didn't want to shade the um, the flowers around the edges. I thought I would let the pictures in the middle do all the talking. So I've just left these very, very simple and just straight coloured them. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased with how they turned out. Um, and again, they all are for um, hashtag April Colour Your Hold 2021, hosted by the beautiful Lavella. Okay, and then I worked in Colouring Quest Animals by Sun Life Drawing. This is a book that I have not worked in for quite a while, so I pulled this out and um, I actually finished the second page in here last night. So, the first page I coloured was this one. And again, this is the usual alcohol markers, Sharpies, Crayola Super Tips, Statler 326, Statler Dual Ended, all that good stuff. And the same for this one. And this is the one that I finished last night. So it was nice to um to come back and revisit this book and get a, get a few pages done. So I think it's always nice, you know, when you've got books sat on your shelf and you haven't worked in them for a while. I think it's always nice when you go back and revisit and show that book some love. So I did really thoroughly enjoy that one. Okay, then we have Rhapsody in Hetbos, or otherwise known as Rhapsody in the Forest. This is by the amazingly talented Kanoko Agusa, who is just the most incredible artist. Her work is beautiful. And I have finally, finally completed my first ever page by Kanoko. And it is this one and this was a buddy colour with my beautiful best friend Zoe from Addicted to Colouring 
And this also goes again for Lavelle's hashtag April Colour Your Hoard 2021. So on this page, um, I used my Black Widow pencils, um, Uniball Signo Gold Metallic, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic, um, Metallic Posca. Um, okay, and there was two eggs here, this one and this one, and I did not like the way they turned out at all. I just, I wasn't happy with them, so I tried to distract from them by putting butterfly stickers on them. So you will notice there is a butterfly here, here, and here. I just, I put a third one on just to try and balance it out a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's my, uh, my first page in a Coloco Agusa book. I must say, I'm really happy with my blue flowers. I think they came out really, really pretty. And I did try using a very limited colour palette, but keep it sort of pastels and very, um, kind of like Easter, you know, that sort of thing. And then I do still have this Forever Whip in here. I am hoping to get this one done. I think now that I have finally completed a page and kind of tackled my fear a little bit um you know I might feel a little bit more ready to come back and um tackle this one but we shall see the next book that I worked in is the nature mandala coloring book this is by Cynthia Emily and I coloured this one um i didn't make a note of what i've used um it looks like i have used alcohol markers and gel pen and so there's the pentel hybrid dual metallic and a jelly roll metallic by the looks of it and then there's this really lovely blue colour, which I think might be a Chromatech. I'm not sure. The same as the red here as well. Um, so just, you know, very simple, but it's fun to work in that book. Then we have a Colour by Colours Spring. Again by Kira Sheshniva. And I coloured this one. Which actually looks like it was all done with alcohol marker. So it may well have been. It may well have been all done with alcohol marker. There's those two. And then I worked from the um, Colouring Heaven Fairy Stories Special. This was illustrated by Fabiana Atanasio. Um, I do have three of her books, um, but if any of you have her books or you've seen them, you know that they are printed double-sided. So the reason I wanted to get this copy was so that I could colour some of her images with alcohol markers. Because the pages in the Colouring Heaven magazines are single-sided. So I coloured this one. So I used alcohol markers there as a base. Um, I have gone in there with a little bit of shading. I've got a funny feeling I used my Black Widow pencils for the shading on the collar here of his jacket and her dress. 
so there's that and then I think I use the Nouveau glitter drops in honey gold I think they're called so I've put them to add the sparkle to her dress and I used the gold uniball signo metallic to go over the uh, the detail there on the collar of his jacket. It's very simple, but um, I really like how that one turned out. And again, this is for Lavella's colour along hashtag April Colour Your Hoard twenty twenty one. Okay. Then I finally pulled out my Fairy Celebrations book by the fabulous Clara Markova and I completed one of my whips, which I'm really happy about. It feels nice to finally, you know, get one of the pages ticked off the list. And it was this one. So this is for um, hashtag Whipping the Whips 2021. I completed this on the 2nd of April. Um, the majority of this was alcohol markers. And then as you can see, there is some pencil shading here. Now, I have a feeling that it may have been either the Black Widow pencils or the Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils that I added a little bit of shading to her with. I did keep it quite simple. I didn't go in and add shading to everything. Um, but what I did add it to, I think looks really pretty. Um, I outlined her dress in a white jelly roll. I added some of the gold uh, glitter drops on the fish there's a little bit of stickles here down at the bottom um, and then here on the pearls I have coloured them I do believe that was with one of the uh, new Calero watercolour paints um, so yeah There is that one. Oh, I'm really sorry. I just yawned. <laughs> so there's that one. Another whip that has been so for a really, really long time is my double page spread from Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanes. Now, if you have been with me for any stretch, you may well remember this double page spread. And it was this one. So this is for hashtag whipping the whips 2021. And again, hashtag April a colour your hoard 2021, hosted by Lavella. So um on this I used oh my goodness, excuse me. I use Prismacolor pencils, um, Neo Color 2s for the background, Crayola Super Tips, Polychromos, Jelly Roll White and Moonlight, Gold Uniball Signo Metallic, Pantel Hybrid Dual Metallic. Um, I don't know. I think there's some fine liner on here somewhere. There's there's all sorts. Um, but yeah, the double page spread is finally finally done. I really like how the trainers turned out. Not thrilled with the background, and this is a couple of layers of me trying to kind of even it out, but. You know, it, it is what it is. So, there's that one. 
have to get back to this book soon because I just oh, I felt such a huge um sense of accomplishment and achievement finishing that double page spread um and it's it's weird because I just I kept thinking I I can't start another page in here until I finish that one so hopefully I can um work in this one again soon okay I have then worked in um, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford. And I completed this a double page spread. Let me pop my lamp on a minute because I've got Link sat right, right in my way. He's like literally just here. Um, so for the background, I used my um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And then for the other elements on the page, I have used Carandosh Pablo, um, Black Widow. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, Black Widow. Gold metallic uniball super no. Um, no doubt there's some Crayola super tips there. Um, Pento hybrid dual metallic. Just you know a, a mixture of all sorts really. You may be able to pick up some of the sparkle there. On them, um, on the pages. So there is that one. Think I need you to in the window, so buddy. Just that's it. Okay, then I coloured from Johanna Basswood's stunning new book, Worlds of <laughs> Worlds of Wonder. And I completed the flap here on the inside. And I just used oh, Link. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In the windowsill, monkey. Um, this was Olga marker on here. And then this is the title page with uh oh my goodness pencils i don't know if this was uh some pan pastels on here some stickles um <laughs> he is really distracting me excuse me hey hey mister <laughs> oh my gosh there's that page. It's got all sorts checked at it. Um, and then this one. Um, and this was a buddy colour with the lovely Michelle on Instagram. Her handle is at MLKIM70. So on this one, I used Prismacolor pencils, um, Arteza. Excuse me, Arteza retractable gel pens, Inconic fine liners, Pan Pastels, Jelly Roll White, Uniball Signo Metallic, and some Distress Ink. So there is that one. And we are currently doing a colour along at the minute, this double page spread here. And finally, I completed a page from Circle of Life, um, A Colouring Journey by Mel Pamani, Chats Biana G2. And I coloured this one. So, um, 
I want to say Prismacolors. I honestly cannot remember. I want to say Prismacolor pencils and then um, there's some stickles. I don't know if you can see that there. Just on the water. Um, there is some Jelly Roll White. Um, a really, really lovely lemon Posca, which I've used here in the middle of these pink flowers. Um, and honestly, that looks about it. I'm really pleased with how this one came out. It's, it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous book. And um, Michelle and I do have a buddy colour planned in this book. Um, I haven't tagged it yet. Let's see. Um, I think it's this one. This one we're going to be doing. So I'll be starting work on that one really soon. So let me take that page flag and I'll put that one. Put that one in there. So that is it, my lovelies. That is all of my completed pages for the month of April 21. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've coloured. Um, I always really enjoy filming these videos and it's actually nice for me to have a look back and see what I completed in the month as well because quite often I forget. Um, if I haven't held it within the last 24 or 48 hours, nine times out of ten, I will forget. I have a brain like a sieve. That's how it, you know, that's how it is around here. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining. Take care. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.